back to this Hinnom series. This is turn 26, and the war with Russ has just begun. First, let's check here. We see Atlantis coming on land, attacking PD of Satis. So let's just see what Atlantis is rocking. So have two Basalt Kings. These are his capital mages that can sort of thug. They have the pass to thug. They have the HP to thug, but their skills are a little low for what you want in thugs, but... Sorry, excuse me. Um, with gear, they are pretty respectable thugs. Just, uh... Need a fair amount of gear for it. Um... See coral blades. I say, guess this kind of looks like construction two gear. I don't know if this flask is um, construction two. Of note, these basalt kings can't self bless, but they are sacred, so they need this flask to bless in battle if they don't have anyone else doing it. But let's see the bless. Uh, magic resistance 2, forecaster 50%. So this tells us Atlantis has a small bless, but it doesn't mean he can't have a incarnate bless. Uh, this is just, um, uh, this is again before the patch that nerfed some of the uh, blesses. I think this is an Astral 4 Bless. No, it's Astral 6. Uh, Farcaster is 4 Astral, Magic Resistance 2 is, I think, 2 Astral. So, looking at this, I would not expect you to have a single path pretender with Astral 6. I don't think Atlantis even has good Astral access on their mages to find astral income, so... Yeah. Um, you also... Well, I guess you could put Farcaster on these. So I don't, I don't expect that to be the full bless. And especially, why would you have these guys kitted as thugs if you're doing a mage? focused bless, right? So the one and one do not add up to what you'd uh, think. They sort of contradict. The bless contradicts the equipment. So Atlantis runs in, runs over these crappy blizzards. Uh, we did see construction three. Quick Himself. That's Alteration 3 or 4. Summon Earth Power, Conjuration 3. I think Iron Skin is Alt 4, so Conj 3, Alt 4. Const 3. Construction 3. So it's text running along. Uh, so, first battle against Russ. This is beside the province where his pretender was. Just a little chunk. Oh, no, we see his pretender here. So, this is the pretender. Fire 4, air 4, earth 6, astral 4. So it looks like he moved this guy, which means he was in the other province for one turn. Which is weird to do. So it's really weird for that Kai to have been there for one turn. Uh, it means he didn't sight search, didn't build a lab, didn't do anything. Um, if he was afraid of me attacking him, it questions why he would have had this guy run to this other border province. So. We'll see what he does. Okay, it's on in immediate retreat order. It does look like it wasn't in the back of the battlefield. 
And this guy has really slow combat speed. So air elementals had the potential to kill him. Even though he has 6 or 20 shock resistance, he would have been trampled over. So yeah. Astral Melkurt buffs up, kills some militia. Slowly kills militia. Okay, that's that. Uh, second battle. This is where we were expecting his pretender to be sight searching or staying a turn. Um, so again, it's our little uh, pair of Melkurts and a uh, what's the term? I forgot it. Uh, fluff? Fluff. It's a little fluff squad. Uh, three fluffers, one guy doing air elementals. Uh, in the province we see like 5 PD, maybe 6. And we can see for some reason this army thinks this battle is worth casting air ele elementals for despite two fully kitted Melkarts, so alright then. can see this air elemental targeted the back of the squad, so it's kind of, I think air elementals kind of target the back of things sometimes, so that's what I was trying to hope to do on that pretender. Uh, looks like everyone's body ethereal'd, yep, got strength of giants, should mean everyone's fully blessed up, so if we took a look, take a look, let's take a look at this one, um, you can see he's, well, he's astral, so he would have been anyways, but his astral shield, ethereal, reinvigoration, his strength is up to 28, thanks to the buff, and he has a little boost to protection, it's up to 22. I think they're 19 before uh, whatever it was. Oh god, Legions of Steel, there we go. So that especially helps for the head that has pretty weak ar armor, so yeah. Just sort of slap those cav. There goes the air gems. Feels bad. Okay, so uh, another battle. Averni killing. Uh, that's a pretty scary province. Is that a throne, maybe? Yep, yeah, throne province. Uh, we see the pretender. Don't recall if we saw the actual pretender in battle in the game yet, but you can see 5 experience, he put up the nature global. Uh, he has a lot of mages in this fight, and they are kitted to do business. I uh, see a lot of just bear warriors, sort of like the kind of his decent standard infantry. not too worried about focusing on what tech he has, but it looked like some evocation 5. Possibly, I don't know. Uh, definitely like alt 5. I saw gifts of the... not gifts, something of the maw. So, yeah. Um, he started some remote site searching. He found an unfound ore. Interesting. Okay, so we're searching the lakes with these guys. So we don't need to, like, equip a ring, run the guy in, search, run out, unequip the ring. So 
saving a lot of mage turns to just remote site search. Uh, here we find two sites. Is that that's a Melkert there? Uh, Ash Valley, Sunridge. I think they're both fire gems. One or two each. Uh, here in Land of Pluto, we have a Gate Word Valley. I'm not sure what that is. I would guess death. Uh, that's it. Fine. 11 Blood Slaves. We saw the battles. Events. Minus 10 income. That's pretty unfortunate. Um, and one gem in there. So if you look at this door, where is it? Down here. Unfound door. One astral gem, so not super exciting, but our astral income is low, so we find a bit more. Oh, fire jumps. Ash Valley, fire death, that's pretty nice. And this is Tude Fire. On top of Quicksand, this is a pretty valuable gem province. So, still sight searching there. So, this turn of the war. So, Rust now knows we're fighting him, and I am trying to guess where this army is, so my main concern is this, not bumping into that. There is also this stack of stuff in his capital, but we see his pretender did survive retreating, and it retreated into this capital, so... He took our, took our swing to kill his pretender. His pretender got away. So unfortunate. Um, checking tech. We do not have Cloud Trapezy. And we can't. Teleport requires Astral 3 or Astral 2. The only way to boost these guys up is with uh, uh, Construction 6 booster, which we don't have the tech for yet. So we didn't have a way to magic move on his pretender, basically, to improve the chances of killing it. Um, so that's unfortunate. So we have this Melkert running down here. Uh, standard gear. We have down here two Melkerts running in. Uh, pretty standard gear. Okay, we have this fellow has the uh, water ring transferred to him so he can bring it back to a lab. All of these fluffers are running back to a lab as well. Um, I don't think I need them to f help Melkerts take PD. And the only threat is this capital army. And I do not think the fluffers will do enough to help the uh, Malkert survive the chuds anyway, so I want to reduce the uh, chance of losing these guys when retreats are in battle. Um, so now we're hitting two provinces. Nope, three. Uh, we're also hitting this. This should be a little bit unexpected for him. Um, I won't bump this army since I'm coming from here. And you don't bump armies if you like jump over where they're going. They need to be specifically walking into each other. So that's why I can't have this guy going here. As he would bump with this army. Um, but this guy won't pump, so we do that. Um, won't bump Satis, since Satis is sieged. Um, Atlantis isn't gonna randomly run up here to attack Rus. He's already fighting Satis, so... Feel pretty safe attacking that. Uh, my priority in this stage of the war is just to raid. Uh, and sort of looking at Russ's land, we see two gem sites so far. So not super impressive in these provinces, but 
throw a reef and he couldn't have been unlucky. And his sights are etching. Uh, over here we see Saromadias kind of expanded out towards here. To remind Satis's capital is here. So it sort of looks like Satis is definitely losing at this stage. Um, yeah. Oh, you're kind of seeing the extent of size for Riverney. You do see he has both of these farmlands and they are both forted, so. I think we have a count of five forts for Riverney. So he's definitely having much less infrastructure than me, which means less mages, his research might be lower at this stage in the game. But he does have a lot of land, one of them, he does have a capital, so he could definitely rival me in income, so to say. Um, up here, what's all this movement? Oh, uh, Prophet coming up to, uh, claim the throne. Have this guy running up to build the fort, so this guy can go fight. What I do not notice is nothing, actually, no, oh, I do. I definitely don't notice, so this site, Gateway, Gateward Valley. I think we found this site. Kills 10 undead. Who's coming here? Undead Mound Fiend, so. Sending that Mound Fiend to his death. Don't do that, guys. Um, still this preached preaching. You can see our candles have filled in most of our land now. I think I'm having trouble pushing out these two provinces, but it's kind of unexpected that I do push it out. Marvi's got, not Marvi, Saro's got a lot of temples. This is his capital, so he's going to have a lot more pressure here than I do. If I don't preach, at least. So, showed you the war. Battles. What's the plans? We're raiding three provinces. This army? Which army? This one? Um, should have put those troops in with him. They are slowly walking down to the front against Russ. So, yep. Um, I have this Melkert waiting here. I'm waiting for these healers to heal his affliction. He also might not have enough gear to send him out. Uh, I definitely, definitely like having regen gear on these guys. And for sure he needs a boots of the messenger for fatigue issues. But yeah. Um, you can see we're up to 600 research now. I think like at turn 20, we are around 100 research. So let's look at that graph. If our, yeah, research is spiking up now. So, yep. Our macro phase is gonna pay off. Uh, do I have anything else moving out down here? What are these guys doing? I think you're, this purse mage is just here to sight search. I'm preaching on the border. Shouldn't be attacked here. Unless he like jumping over. Which would be weird for him to do. Since he should be on the defensive. Right now. I don't think he has high mobility stuff to like raid here either. So yeah. Uh, next turn is turn 29. Uh, let's see, two battles. First one is that farm. I 
it looks like he did a moderate PD dump, maybe 10, 12, I don't think it's all the way to 15. But, uh, classic ethereal script, blessing, body ethereal, astral shield, personal luck. I could throw in magic resistance to be more safe, but his fatigue's already getting pretty high. So, yeah, smack these guys, let's, can we turbo? There we go. Alright, that's that, next fight. So I noticed only two battles this turn, I should have had three. I might have misscripted one of my Melkurts, which is a mistake. Alright, um... I guess you can watch this. Smack some barbs. Barbs try to smack us, but well, cards are good. Uh, vine shield is also really good. So yeah, that's that. Not sure why we we're missing a battle. I'm pretty sure we should have had three uh, events. Lost a lab in a uh, that border fort on Rus. Uh, gem sites, two here. Enchanted gate, elusive flights. I think those are both astral sites. We'll check in a moment. In the lake, we have monstrous conch and coral statue. Cool. Let's check them as well. That's it. Uh, we have two new heroes. That's in the farm. That's down there, so we'll check in a bit what they are. Uh, but first, the sites. So, monstrous conch, one nature, coral, one water. Uh, over here, we have enchanted gate, one astral, elusive lights, one fire, one air. So cool, I think we're getting our air income up. Not a lot of movement this turn, but we think yes, that's, this is our first ball, and we're sending him over to this wasteland to eat the population there and not in our capital. Um, I don't recall why I swapped two balls at this point. path access, but I don't think I need the path access yet. I think Melkurts are still better. Yeah, so I'm not sure. Uh, my main army is slowly working its way down south. Oh, I guess I took this province, but there was no PD in it. Uh, for sites we see in the enemy lands, Alchemist Guild, one fire, one earth, and uh, Alchemist with decent cross paths, however, it's 300 gold, so he's pretty expensive, but he does come with alchemy. I don't really plan on alchemizing gems for gold, so not sure I want him. Uh, enchanted windmill, one air, one earth, one air, so he does have some decent amount of sites now in his land. So this turn, we are trying to raid the last of his land. We have four Melkurts raiding right now in this black forest. Oh, actually the uh, heroics stuff. So this uh, Hunter of Manu. Manu was the name of his pretender. Uh, this guy's got magic or iron will. That's pretty nice. It's plus two right now. It makes it hard for magic to kill him. Um, this guy got Thread Eye, which is precision and magic resistance. 
Another precision, not useful. Magic resistance one, it's better than nothing, but a lot of stuff could have been better. Um, so yeah, we have two people hitting here. One hitting here, one hitting here. Just sort of standard rating. Um, I'm not sure what Russ's move is right now, but he's kind of recoiled this turn. Not well. Did he recoil? He was here this turn, and he made the choice not to attack here. All right, so this is an indicator he's afraid to bump my Melkurts or army. He might not have had scouting info up here, actually. But, uh, yeah, it's, he's definitely avoiding fighting me, so this might sort of anticipate he just goes into his capital or he attacks here and here or there. Um, this is definitely risky. They can bump what I should have done. Uh, actually, I can't do it. Um, so my priority is to take all three of these and just put him down to his capital. Uh, what else? Just a lot of sight searching. Uh, any magic here? So you can see our treasury is growing. Getting some morale gear. Right, I think that's just the only one for now, but. Uh, getting braces of protection. Uh, water lens for a temp water gem. Yeah, so. Nothing new in the gear production. Well, not true, I guess we have. This for morale, this for some added protection. So, working in more gear versatility. And my capital, just sort of checking in. Uh, revenant production sort of continues, and I'm almost at one per turn. With one more death income, it is one a turn. But you can see, like, each one's producing 10 research a turn have seven right now, so that's 70 research. It's definitely a chunk of my research right now, so I'm satisfied with this investment of revenants. Later on, we can put lightless lanterns on them, so sort of perfect for lightless lantern duty. so I can free up like my gold mages who are combat valuable. Let's see, um, just think that's it. No messages. Ah, yeah, let's get to the next turn. Uh, turn 30. Actually, I guess we're running a bit long, so we'll end it here. Um, thanks for watching, see you next turn, or next episode, where we continue the war on Russ.